Now, a satellite that aims to study clouds to make more accurate weather forecasts and reliable climate predictions has blasted into orbit. Three, two, one. This is SpaceX Falcon 9 carrying the EarthCare satellite. Its mission is to collect information on clouds along with dust and smoke which play a role in their formation. Experts say the data could be used to help mitigate the threats posed by global warming. Well, let's talk more to our science correspondent, Jonathan Amos, who joins us live. Jonathan, how do you measure what's in a cloud? Ah. We well, have a, a couple of very fancy instruments, Nikki. You have a, a Doppler radar and you also have a LIDAR, a laser, a space laser. And this EarthCare mission is a joint venture between the European and Japanese space agencies. will circle the Earth and it will pulse the radar and the, the LIDAR, the laser, down through the atmosphere. And the, the laser will see the tops of clouds. It'll see the, the small particles, the droplets in the atmosphere. You mentioned them, dust, smoke. Uh, soot, uh, Saharan dust, uh, these little particles can nucleate clouds, they can make clouds form, and that radar will look inside clouds. It'll see how much water they're carrying, it'll see how they evolve over time, and it'll also be able to see whether they precipitate out, you know, the rain, the hail, the snow, all of that kind of stuff. And what scientists want to do is get a picture of how clouds work. Um, because they've got great ideas now, but they don't have really precise ways of understanding how clouds work. And that's important because they need to feed that information into the weather forecasts that we all use every day, but longer term as well, the, the climate forecasts. You know, there are, there are some suggestions that as the planet warms, we'll get less cloud cover. And if that happens, more of the sun's radiation will be absorbed at the surface, and that will amplify the warming that we get from carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. So it's going to be very interesting to see what data that the EarthCare mission can return. This mission has been quite a long time in the planning, hasn't it, Jonathan? <laughs> yeah, it has. The, the first sort of concept proposal was put forward in 1993 by a Reading University scientist called Anthony Illingworth. Um, and he battled away to, uh, to get his ideas accepted. A uh, little a little while later, uh, in the late 90s, he started to, to sort of push a, a satellite mission and eventually the European Space Agency accepted it way back in 2004. That's 20 years ago. And that satellite has just been launched two decades later. It just shows the, uh, the difficulty, the challenges, the technical challenges of doing some of this kind of work. I mean, they've had to overcome enormous uh, technical obstacles. I was just talking about the, uh, the LIDAR, the laser. Uh, they had to try and find a way to make the laser work in the vacuum of space. If you're going to operate <laughs> in space, your tools need to work in a vacuum, right? Um, and that took them several years to work out uh, how to do that. The Japanese, who, who produced the, the radar, they also had technical difficulties. And taken together, that's bumped the price up. We're talking about something like 850 million euros across the lifetime of the mission, it has to be said. Um, but these things, they don't come cheap and they don't come quick. But the data they can return certainly can be profound. John, thank you very much. And John's written a fascinating article that you can read on the BBC News website.